A team of astronomers from the University of Montreal have found that two exoplanets orbiting a distant planet are water worlds, with water making up a larger part of their volumes. Scientists used the NASA's Hubble and the retired Spitzer Space Telescopes to make the observation. According to the findings, these exoplanets, located 218 light years away in the constellation Lyra, are unlike any other found in the solar system. The team, led by the PhD student Caroline Piaulet of the Trottier Institute for Research on Exoplanets at the University de Montreal, published a detailed study of planetary system known as Kepler-138 in the journal Nature Astronomy Today. She observed that the exoplanets Kepler-138c and Kepler-138d and discovered that the planets, which are approximately one and a half times the size of the Earth, could be comprised of mostly water. Although water was not directly detected, the researchers compared the sizes and masses of the exoplanets to models, ultimately concluding that up to half of their volumes should be made of materials that are lighter than rock but heavier than hydrogen or helium. It is likely for this material to be water. We previously thought that the planets that were a bit larger than the Earth were big balls of metal and rock, like scaled up versions of Earth, and that's why we call them super Earths, explained Beneke. However, we have now shown that these two planets, Kepler 138c and d, are quite different in nature. A big fraction of their entire volume is likely composed of water. It is the first time we observe planets that can be confidently identified as water worlds, a type of planet that was theorized by the astronomers to exist for a long time. Researchers, however, cautioned that the planets may not have oceans like those on Earth directly at the planet's surface. The temperature in Kepler-138c's and Kepler-138d's atmospheres is likely above the boiling point of water and we expect a thick, dense atmosphere made of steam on these planets. Only under the steam atmosphere, there could potentially be liquid water at high pressure or even water in other phase that occurs at high pressure called supercritical fluid, said Piaulet, who is a part of B. John Benike's research team. All of the planets in our solar system orbit around the Sun. Planets that orbit around other stars are called exoplanets. Exoplanets are very hard to see directly with telescopes. They are hidden by bright glare of the stars they orbit. So astronomers use other ways to detect and study these distant planets. They search for exoplanets by looking at the effects these planets have on the stars they orbit. In 2009, NASA launched a spacecraft called Kepler to look for exoplanets. Kepler looked for planets in a wide range of sizes and orbits, and these planets orbited around stars that varied in size and temperature. Some of the planets discovered by Kepler are rocky planets that are at a very special distance from their star. This sweet spot is called the habitable zone where life might be possible. Kepler detected exoplanets using something called the transit method. When a planet passes in front of its star, it's called a transit. As the planet transits in front of the star, it blocks out a little bit of the star's light. That means a star will look a little less bright when the planet passes in front of it. Astronomers can observe how the brightness of the star changes during a transit. This can help them figure out the size of the planet. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.